Hey, Chi Money Gang! It's been a while, right? Welcome back to the channel. Today yeah. we are dealing with how to set up a budget media company in 2023. How to set up... You know that we are all about the money on this channel, right? And I brought to you an expert, one that I have actually worked for. Like, so this is actually my boss. Like, my very first boss, the one that taught me media business and all mm -hmm. of these things people are seeing. Guys, make welcome Ambassador Sunny Davis. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being with you. On thank this you. Thank you. Thank you. I brought him and I said this is it's going to be a big privilege to bring him because guys, so many people might be at that point where they say, oh, this whole media business, what can I start with? How do I go about it? This is right here, somebody who just did not start a business and has grown it into millions but started really small wow. really small that is even you might have more equipment more resources right now and yet you are doubting yourself than when he first started in you know yes i worked for him in 2007 and he has started before then so you can imagine how long guys so on today's episode i'm going to just give him the floor to tell us if somebody is about to start or wants to start a business especially in the line of the work maybe you want to start a magazine company a social media company a tv production company like a video company like youtube and all that what do you think will make for success for that kind of business knowing what you know now more like if somebody that, who wants to start what would you advise the person to do step by step yeah all right thank you very much viewers like uh, she has told you there's no need going back from start introduction but i remain the ambassador now, the media business, like I am a media entrepreneur, meanwhile, the media business is a whole lot. Yeah. Um, but then, starting a media business is one of the, um, the easiest thing. And then some of you will say, how easy is it? Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on who is involved. Yeah. But first of all, what you need first is experience. You need to have first experience in what you want to go into. Mm -hmm. You want to go into TV production, you want to go into magazine. I'm going to be talking on the two. Yeah. The TV magazine, the magazine and the TV production. Of course, you want to go into magazine. First of all, you must know what you want to talk about. And just exactly like as it is when you're doing on YouTube, yeah. you must have a subject. What's your what are your contents? What do you want to feed the public with? Yeah. What do you have in mind? Is it a need? No, you, you, your content must be something that is desirable. Absolutely. That, and you know that we are not a reading society. So mm -hmm. if you want to be engaged in the magazine, whether it is online or offline, you, it must be a content that, that has value in them to add to people. That is the first thing you look at. Then the second thing you look also in the produce, production of magazine is interest. Yeah. Interest. Do you have interest in that? Exactly. That interest drives you. Do you understand? But I'm going to be teaching you the money making aspect. You know why? Because most times it's not about making the magazine. Mm -hmm. I've seen people who are making powerful magazines yet they're not making any headways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this time around I'm going to be teaching you a little in a very short while on how you can really make money out of the magazine. The magazines or rather yeah, magazine news we have new magazine, we have social magazine, we have magazines, we have uh, entertainment magazine, we also have events magazine. It depends on what you want to talk about. Yeah. That not determine how much you want to make there. If you are making a news magazine then you're dependent for profit with you only on adverts. Mm -hmm. Right? Because in news nobody pays for news. Sure. Yeah, but when people see that your magazine is viable they can decide, okay, then you have one. And two, don't look for people to pay you for adverts mm -hmm. when you're beginning a magazine. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. First, if you want to start a magazine, you must have a name first. When you have the name, then you go to National Library. You get what we call the ISSR. This uh, is ISSR. ISSR, thank you. The ISSR is what, uh, you know, um, the, then your magazine will be incorporated into the National Library. Yeah. So that's uh, anywhere you are. In the world, the magazine will be recognized and becomes, you know, uh, uh, do I call it legitimate now? <laughs> yeah. Call it now? You know, uh, because acceptable yeah. by law. By law. Right? Yeah. Because not every magazine you see fly about, fly everywhere that's actually acceptable by law, you must incorporate it 
yeah. in there. Having said that, don't forget also that you have to register your business. Business, true. Sure. You have two types of registration. There are more than two, but two I'm going to talk about here: mm -hmm. business name and incorporation. Yeah. All right. When you register, register your business name, that one is cheaper, so you can start your business name. The way you grow, you can upgrade. Okay, you register so that if for eventual someone wants to pay you, mm -hmm. they won't pay you into your own accounts. Yeah. One of the mistakes some when we started was that we were giving people our own accounts. Mm -hmm. So that does not build trust yeah. and it does not build business. So people want to pay you by your organization. Yeah, so they pay into your organization. Then when you have registered your business and you also have the name for the magazine. The name for the magazine must portray the content. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Not one. I have a magazine I started with. One of the reasons why I have to search for the second magazine was that it was not actually fulfilling the purpose. What was it? It's the name it's carrying has to do with business, has to do with the economy. Okay. And when we go out to cover other events, especially mm -hmm. government events, yeah. We find out that people find it called to advertise or even to patronize us. Okay. They will ask us and say, Ah, but that this one is supposed to be for economy. I go to bank, go to this place. Mm -hmm. So there was restriction. Yeah. Later, we have to apply for him again okay. in National Library after six months. Okay. Okay. So we got another name and we started with that name. Now that name is flying more than the other one. Now today, what we did was to match the two magazines together okay. and give it a name. You might have been seeing that Afrimark News, that is the two names. We have Market Speech and we have African Strikes. African Strikes. So that's what makes up with Afrimark News. Yes, okay. And today we are running it online and we also have it offline. That's the hard copy. Okay. You understand? So, but if you want, uh, you are doing a magazine, like I said, first, what do you want to talk about? That determines how it will go. If it's a news magazine, like I said, you don't you don't make profit from news, no. you only make profit from the other. That means that the news you will carry must be a striking news. Yeah. That can make people sort for your magazine. Yeah. And when magazine are sought after, that is when adverts will okay. come in. Mm -hmm. And when adverts is coming in, that's where you make your money. No other way you can make money from magazine except from them. Or another way you can make money from magazine is through uh, what I call special reports. With that special report, mm -hmm. there are people like um, people like senators, like House of Rep members, under their constituency, there are constituency projects mm -hmm. which they run and so I decided, so okay, come and give me four pages mm -hmm. of this my project of this project, and they put in there that can also attract mm -hmm. money for you in the news magazine. Another area again that can give you money is also new, uh, magazine documentary. Okay. Magazine documentary is also like special reports. Mm -hmm. They're just slightly different. Mm -hmm. So that magazine documentary, um, when they give to you, you talk about the profile of somebody, you talk about some persons. It could also be um, what we call. You can also take events in your news magazine. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that says you cannot take events yeah. in your news magazine. So those events also they pay for the pages. It depends. But if you are starting, don't look at big magazines. Their prices. Sometimes if you are starting, just start whatever they give you. Once you know that it can, it can actually, you know, um, do for your production. Right. So you're talking about the advert cost now? The or, advert or, cost. Or, or, or the print copy? No, not the print the copy. Print now, the advert, right? yeah, the advert cost. The advert cost. Once you have looked at it and it, it's enough to give you your production. Mm. Okay, because I wanted to say that some people turn up to over a million for a one page no, or no, half no, page. No, no. You don't look at that when you're starting. Yeah, as a starter, right? you just as a start starter, more. you just do free jobs. Okay. Do free jobs. Some to start. you have to start just to start so that your people can be when people see what you're carrying. Ah, when you do the free job, make sure that the people you advertise inside the magazine sees the magazine. Mm -hmm. Take it to them. Don't ask them for money. If they give you good and fine. But if they don't, just take it to them. You are using them to actually sell your magazine okay. for the start. And the kind of the, the caliber of people you also carry your magazine also matters. Matter. So look you go for, for the big shop. Yes, the, the, the people that people want to see. Yeah, or know about. just exactly. Just go for people that people are looking up to. Oh, people are, uh, uh, maybe they've seen them on television. Mm -hmm. So you and they see them in your papers, and you have live interview wow. with them. So because that is when the news is coming direct from the person, the news person itself. So all those ones will help you 
Now preparing for publication, you know, because one of the problems that we have again is how do we do the page setup? Setup, yeah. Is a very big challenge. That's what we call the dummy when you want to do a magazine. Now I'm talking about the physical one now. Yeah. The, the offline yeah. magazine hard copy. So you create a dummy of the how many page that you want to do. If you're doing a 60 page, for instance, that is the A3, that's what we call the A3. Size if it, it is size of paper, that is 15, A3 will give you 60, 60 pages. Okay. All right? Okay. So, if it, so you use it like that to calculate, you know, I can't be going to okay. give you all the, the other aspects. Yeah. So 15 A3 papers will give, will you, give you 60 pages, 60 pages of, pages, yes, of, of A4 magazine. Of A4 magazine. A4 magazine. So because F, each is for pages. Guys, people are getting too much yeah. value. They're dropping your offering away. Exactly. <laughs> so each of this your um, domain will give you the each eight yes we give you four pages. Mm -hmm. When you times four times fifteen, we give you sixty. That is where we get the sixty from. Okay. Right. So when that is done, in that your um domain you create headers just like as you want it to be in the real magazine. Mm -hmm. in the, with the headings and whatever you want to feature there, make it as if it's magazine, but you can do it with a pen, you can do it with a pyro. It's not, it must not be tight okay. because it's just for you to know where and where to fit what. Yes. Okay. If you have where, maybe there's a wedding you cover and you want to put it inside there. Also, look at where you put the wedding so that it will be attractive. Mm -hmm. We always put it as center spread, mm -hmm. we we'll call it center spread. Okay. That's close to the center and we use it for the center spread. Then, when that is done, then you take it to a graphic artist. It's not all graphic artists that designs magazines. Magazine, yeah. It is not all. It's not all graphic artists that understand magazine coloring. Yeah. <laughs> They're different. You can see a very super powerful magazine uh, graphic artist who does very well, but when it comes to publishing, especially magazine, you might not know how to do yeah. that. There are special people whose work are to uh, design magazines. So look for such kind of persons and let the person design the magazine for you in accordance with your dummy. Yeah. Is that dummy the person will for? Don't forget that your dummy, your page includes your back page. Anything you're counting, your back page is included. Some don't do that. That means that if you want to uh, do a 60 pages magazine and you don't want the, the cover to be involved, that means your, your magazine is going to be 64 pages. 64 pages. Note that because it's 4 4 counts that we do. So, and the front page or the back page or the inner front page and the inner back page, they carry different price. They are not the same because they are the first that you encounter with. Okay, there's the, the one they can put in the front, of course, your front page is the face of your magazine. Mm -hmm. So, you don't need to sell that. But if you are going to sell that, that should be good money. That means that person wants to brand mm, the magazine, the magazine yeah. in their name, but in your, your magazine title must be there. Yeah. The difference is that it's carrying somebody's adverts in the front, but you don't always the best. The best so, yeah. use your back and use the first inner for that. Now, when I started, I must let you know this, when I started, I had only 50,000 Naira in my account. Mm. Um, and with that 50,000 Naira, we started just like that. And we started as Advert Magazine, okay. just to publicize people's to promote goods, business, promote goods, uh, goods and services. That's what we started with. But before you know it, you know, it snowballs into um, becoming magazine that people were now know asking for to put advert inside and to publicize what they are doing and we started also to cover some news mm -hmm. especially national assembly because i stay in abuja national assembly and all that important ministries we started covering them and uh, not too long we were incorporated we can associate member of uh, yeah, NUG. we are members. still associate members to NUG tomorrow all right so that's helped or that is the little is starting in that form yeah. with 50,000 naira of course we are not we are not 50,000 naira today because exactly. it's been a while okay. we started that all right that's so, for the magazine yeah okay so to wrap up this segment of magazine before we go into the tv production part how profitable do you think 
if somebody works hard because what I see in this thing, you can't be shy or somebody who who doesn't know how to approach you um, mm -hmm. and you want to succeed in this business. You must be a forward-going person, you must be confident, you must dress well because for you to meet people and convince them to buy from you, I know how it used to be back in the days, how it used to I learned a lot of things from you, from that, you know, being able to, you know, so I think that how profitable can it be if somebody puts in their energy into that, especially for physical magazine, it's something that is not so much popular anymore, but I know there is still a market for it. There is a huge market for it, yeah. but it depends on who okay. that is doing it. Yeah. For instance, you must know where your magazine, you know, represents. What I mean by that is that, you must know the ministry you're covering. Okay. You mustn't cover everything. Yeah. You must have some specific areas. And if you want to get it right, look for some ministries and really start with their um, communication units. What is the ministries? Government, government, government yes. Not churches. No. <laughs> I'm talking about church. government ministries and yeah. parastatals. All right? That's the agencies. Mm -hmm. You just, uh, you're calling them the MDAs. Mm -hmm. So register with any of the MDAs and in their communication units mm -hmm. where you will call that bit in our yeah, own uh, yeah. language, we call that bit and you cover that. If you are doing that, you are covering their events, they know you, right? You can be making small money from there because any invitation they give to you, definitely Nigeria is a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. They don't always allow you to go empty. They will always give you transport. That you will be getting your transport from such. So register to as many as you can, but make sure that it's not above. Don't go because of the small money you're getting there. You want to register with everywhere. No, no, no. Just choose areas or ministries that actually concerns your yeah, magazine. Okay. That's what you do. Amazing. Yes. Okay. Now, don't forget that I told you that I'm a media entrepreneur. That means that I am in the business line of media. Media. Okay. So now, like she said, you your dress sense must be very, very high. You must understand that before people read your magazine, you are the magazine they read first. Yeah. So when they look at you and they capsize, even when what your content is worth it, mm -hmm. because you are worthless outward, <laughs> they have worthless to your magazine. Exactly. And, that. True. and sometimes they won't even give attention to you. So you must look like what you want to present. present. Absolutely. So guys, this is a masterclass on starting a magazine company and I hope that was very, very, very explicit. If you have more questions for him, for me, drop in the comment section.